Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about ovarian torsion imaging. Ovarian torsion is a twisting of vascular pedicle of ovary, fallopian shoe, or both, resulting in venous obstruction and then edema and then atrial compromise, and then ischemia, and then hemorrhagic infarction. The most common sign and symptom of shoot, severe unilateral lower abdominal, heavy pain, constant or intermittent, nausea and vomiting, often synchronous with pain. Other signs and symptoms include fever, tender palpable mass, and castrated in canal hernia. Demographic age mean 10 to 11. 50% of cases occur in premenopausal girls tend to have delayed diagnosis and longer duration of ovarian ischemia. 10% occur in perinatal period. Sex, female only. Epidemiology, annual incident, one in 20,000 female age, one to 20 years. Incident is uncommon, medical, legally, and psychological socially more significant. Imaging, unilateral large ovary, ovarian volume more than 100 is highly suggestive of torsion. Ovarian volume less than 20 ml in post. Pubertal patient was never torsion in one setting. A ratio of abnormal to normal Ovarian volume is more than or equal twice to one, strongly correlated with torsion in same series. Scatter mostly peripheral follicle, often 8 to 12 mm. Torch ovary is often displaced to midline may extend into abdomen or contralateral pelvis. Sonographic will pull sign of twisted vascular pedicle, variable pattern of Doppler flow within twisted ovary ranging from normal to completely absent. Heavy preplanate or hemoperitoneal. Hemorrhagic cysts in fetal neonatal ovaries suggest torsion. Have we got a sound for acute pain in the 13 years old girl? So, like 6 to 7 cm heterogeneous mass with adjacent free fluid of shoes are present at the outer margin of the mass. No, not more than right ovary was visible. Ultrasound in the six years old pre menopause girl show on a large right ovary with periprosis. The right ovary volume was 4.5 times the left ovary volume. In this case of surgically confirmed right ovarian torsion. On the sound in a seven years old girl with acute pain surround solid mass posterior to the uterus, no normal right ovary was identified. A lot of blood is found in the same patient, so number of small peripheral follicles and minimal blood flow within these displaced edematous by ovary. Ovary torsion was confirmed by surgery. 
No blood on the sound in a patient complaining of heavy pain, suffering so in large ovary with diminished blood flow suggesting ovary torsion. A separated hemorrhage is seen. Follow the flow of the sound so with midline around heterogeneous mass with only peripheral blood flow in a 14 years old girl with acute pain, nausea and vomiting, a normal right ovary was not identified. This lesion was more than five times the size of the right ovary. Surgery confirmed right ovary and torsion. Treatment. Urgent surgical distortion, conservation of ovarian tissue. Ovoporectomy is now uncommon, even if necrotic happen. Ovoporopexy is controversial. Ovary suture to pelvic side wall broad ligament uterine serosa. Attempt to avoid disturbing no more to more ovarian anatomy and relationship. Contralateral ovoporopexy is gaining a substance when unilateral ovoporectomy is performed. Long-term ovarian viability is not guaranteed, even when organ is reperfused in whole. Salvage rate are better for ovarian than testicle torsion. More than 90% salvage rate for ovarian torsion. Length of symptom prior to surgery does not always predict viability. Afferent of head surgery is also not predictive of vasa. Salvage. Aspiration plus Minus biopsy versus 36 of C's or solid region. Thank you.